Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we're going to talk about combining multiple comparisons. And what I mean by that is, is there are times when you are going to want to compare uh, an item or a measurement against multiple two or three other items or measures and show how you are superior to all of them, not just one of them, but all of them. Here's the slide that I uh, was working on recently with an executive. They were talking about how uh, some of the stuff that they're doing allows them to uh, undercut their competitors on price so they can sell for a lower price point. And so they did some statistics and came up with these 13% less than local and 16% less than uh, the largest online. And they're, they're valid, accurate statistics. But presented just this way doesn't really give it the impact that it deserves. So here's how I redid the slide. So you see that we can sell our products, the same products, for less. For example, when we look at our online competitors, we sell for 16% less than our largest direct online competitor. That's a significant difference. And of our local competition, we're 13% less than their prices. So you can see how this model allows us to gain market share in a growing and very competitive industry that we're in. So you'll notice what I did is that I turned it into a graph, put all the comparisons on one graph so we can see who is sort of in what uh, position here. And then I added the callouts that make it very clear what the differences are between our company and the two different types of competitors that we have. So let's look at some of the lessons that we can learn when we're putting uh, comparisons between our product or organization and others. Before we get to the lessons again, for more information on the book, go to www.visualslideRevolution.com. For more information on my training, consulting, videos, other resources, go to thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons today for combining multiple comparisons in a visual. First of all, because you are comparing against more than one other item, you have to determine what is the common axis. In this case, it was dollars. So the we measured everything against $100 for the largest uh, column in the graph and then did it down from there because they were dealing with percentages. It's going to be a little different maybe in your situation, but determine what is that common axis for the graph. After you've developed the graph, add the callouts because otherwise people are trying to line it up and see how much the difference is. It may not look big, but when you add the callouts, you give it specificity. You make it, here's the exact difference in dollars or percentage as the case may be. Third, you notice how we built each slide because we want to talk about each of the comparisons even though they're all on one visual. We want to talk about them individually because the audience might have some questions or we might have a conversation about that particular comparison. So build them one by one. And finally, you notice how I used color. Our company was in a particular color that stood out. So use a single color to represent that key column or line depending on the type of graph you're using. So it stands out and is easy to see that that's what we're comparing everything against. So when you have to do multiple comparisons, instead of just listing percentages or dollar figures, turn it into a visual that's going to be more powerful and have greater impact. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.